Hi kids. So after installing the uh, wheelchair lift on the Honda Odyssey and loading in the wheelchair and whatever else needs to be in there, uh, I noticed that the back end is pretty spongy. It, it's uh, very compressed, kind of leans back and forth going around. I'm going to try and stiffen that up. Here's how I'm going to do it. This is the kit we're putting in. This is the Airlift 1000 kit. If you go on the website for Airlift, they'll tell you which one fits your car, which one is supposed to fit your car. It's just a couple airbags and some air hoses. Got my bucket, got my wheel off, got my jack, got my jack stands. Got my earthquake XT. Supposedly, I just take that bolt out, drop the arm down, take the bump stop out, and replace the bump stop with this. And that's gonna give us basically an adjustable bump stop. See, that thing in the middle of the spring there, and that's the bump stop. That's gotta come out. Well, looks like I trashed a wheel sensor here. So I installed my fitting for my air pressure right here next to the tire. That way I can check it when I'm checking my tire pressure. Um, the maximum on this is supposed to be about 35 PSI, so let's start, I don't know, let's see what happens if I just blast it up. Watch the ride height right here, let's see what we do. Yeah, you see that? Let's see how much that is. That's 50 pounds, um, the max on this is supposed to be about 35. Let's take it to about 30, see what that gets. That's 30. I'm gonna take it for a test drive, see what we got. Well, I can definitely report that that, uh, that helps a lot. I had to pull over and adjust the pressure a little more. 35 PSI, oh, I think I was at 30 PSI. That's still a little too high, bounced around a little too much and uh, kind of acted high centered sometimes. So I pulled over and lowered that to 20 PSI, kind of in the middle. And I like that a lot. That's uh, That stiffens up the ride without making it uh, feel like you're riding on a, you know, stilts or something like that. Makes a big difference. It really does. So if you've added a bunch of weight with a chairlift or if you just haul around like giant bricks of gold in the back of your Honda Odyssey, I would definitely recommend this kit. It's not very expensive. It was about $100. Now the only thing left to do is grab me some new wheel speed sensors from the junkyard. One of these days I'll learn to disconnect those before I pull struts, but I guess not today. Until next week, this is Glenn Cersei saying like and subscribe, scavenger type, see ya.